So in this video we're going to discuss the three intentions of wound healing. So the first one is healing by first intention. And it before we begin, it's important to remember that wounds like this concept does not mean that you heal heal by first intention, then second intention, then third intention. These are just all separate ways of healing a wound and they can be mutually exclusive. So the first intention is when you simply bring together both edges of a wound and hold them together. So this can be held together with sutures, staples, steri strips, and other uh, and the like. And it's basically when the wound is easily closed and the dead space is eliminated. So as you can see here is the stitch has gone across here and the dead space which is below the skin has just closed up on itself with a simple approximation of the wound edges. Healing by second intention include is when there's a, a bigger loss of tissue so it's not a clean cut as if it were as a razor. It could be a gouge for example and this is when the wound requires gradual filling of the dead space with connective tissue. So what you're going to see here is that the, the edges of the wound were not brought together and instead the wound was just left to, uh, to fill from, from bottom to top with uh, the granulated tissue and as you can see this leaves a much wider scar than seen by uh, first intention heal healing by first intention. So healing by third intention is a little bit of a mix of between healing by first intention and healing by second intention. So it involves delayed primary closure. So you're not going to stitch up the, the wound right away. Instead, wounds are intentionally left open for several days for irrigation or removal of debris. So as this wound is healing from the bottom up, a uh, common nursing intervention is to irrigate the wound and, and uh, debride the wound of any scabs and other infection or anything in order for the granulated tissue to work its way up and once uh, some of the dead space has been removed and the inflammation has uh, died down the wound can be then closed by first intention which is with a state with a typically a stitch or a staple and uh, as you can see that this is a combination of both first and second intention because you let the wound fill up from the bottom as you would in second intention but then you also stitch it later on as is as you would see in first intention healing